Is it possible that a powerful force is trying to suffocate you spiritually, mentally, physically, and emotionally? Is it a coincidence that the COVID movement attacked your lungs? Is it a coincidence that the remedy for not spreading it was a mask over your face? Is it a coincidence that the Black Lives Matter mantra is I can't breathe? I don't know. What do you think? You tell me. Now I'm going to tell you the power of the, the mantra I can't breathe and what it does. It actually kills the spirit and here's why. The word inspiration means to be in spirit, to breathe in. Those are all connected. So inspiration means to breathe in. It means to be in spirit. When you are breathing consciously, you are in spirit. You are inspired. And when you use that inspiration, that spirit to bring forth words, you manifest your reality and change your reality. When you put a mask over your face and say, I can't breathe, you're killing the spirit, you're killing the inspiration from within, and you're shutting your words down. This is how powerful your words are. Dr. Emoto would take words such as anger, remorse, jealousy, and put them on water. That water would be frozen and snapshot in a picture, and we'd see the distorted consciousness. And then he'd take love, peace, happiness, and take a snapshot of that and see a beautiful conscious pattern like a snowflake. Keep in mind, you are 75% water. Imagine the words that you speak, the impact that it's having on your physical body. Now there's words that are life affirming and there's words that are destructive to the, every cell of your being and, every, and part of your spirit. And saying things like, I can't breathe, is literally killing your spirit. This is very important to be aware of because when you hear the words, I can't breathe, and it's being disseminated across the world, you better believe that there's a reason behind it. What it is, that's for you to decide. What's the remedy? Recognizing how powerful your words are. Let me give you an example of how powerful words are through inspiration. The people that we know the most, that are the most worldwide known, spoke through inspirational speeches. Martin Luther King, Nelson Mandela, Gandhi. The power was through the words. Everything we've manifested in reality is through the words. We have thoughts, feelings, all these things are formulated and they come out through the word. The only reason I can speak on this iPhone is because there was somebody who had a vision, who had thoughts, who had an idea, and through collective consciousness of other people, put those ideas out there and other people with skills, the ideas, the technology, they put together the iPhone. That communication through word, through vision, was inspired and now manifests reality. Well, the opposite can happen. It can be destructive to your life. And I can't breathe is destructive to everybody saying it and everybody listening. How about the mantra that my breath is spiritual and physical nutrients and nurturing my soul and my spirit and it's making me a better and healthier person with every breath. Conscious breathing daily is something I've been recommending to clients for 10 years. And it's something you can do on your own, anytime, anywhere. It's a form of meditation, just only focusing on the breath. The more oxygen you get into your body, the more oxygen you get into your cells, the healthier, the happier, and the more free you are. And every single cell thrives off of oxygen. So the more you breathe, the better you breathe, the more oxygen into the body, the healthier, the better you feel, and the more in spirit you are.